Welcome to the Catch Up. I'm Taylor, inviting you to join me for a tender chat about growing up. If you're like me, then the first half of your 20s has been something like a crazy fun house. You have no idea where you're going or what's ahead. You hate what you see in most mirrors and everything kind of smells like a McDonald's ball pit all the time. All right, maybe not, maybe not the last one. While our 20s can be stressful and uncertain, Cosmopolitan.com contributor Allison Hatfield recently made a really good case for unclenching for like a second and enjoying a decade that's supposed to be about thrilling independence and wearing shorts in the winter. With tights, obviously, I'm not an animal. Your body is perfect. You're in your 20s, so despite all the sleep you miss and all the Doritos you put on your bagels, you're young and you're healthy and you should be happy about the way you look. Believe it. Also, Birth control is something you should take pretty seriously. It takes four seconds out of your morning and saves you anywhere from nine months to 18 years of much harder work. If you're angry, they don't make a gummy birth control the way they do for vitamins. So am I. But the folks that make one a day won't answer my correspondence, so suck it up and take your pill. Finally, sex really is better with someone you love. Allison says that there's nothing wrong with casual sex and recommends, you know, doing it while you're young, but she says that the best sex she's ever had was in a relationship where there was good communication, lowered inhibitions, and less pressure to be perfect. In case you haven't had enough adulthood for one day, Cosmopolitan.com can also tell you if your boyfriend, best friend, or the guy who makes your sandwiches, depending on how well you know him, would make a good dad. Hmm. Since I don't have a boyfriend and um, all my best friends are women, the guy who makes my veggie delight actually stands a pretty good chance of fathering a ketchup baby. Got my eye on you. <laughs> First, does he help around the house? If you're with a guy who pretends he doesn't know how a dishwasher works and you can't like possibly be bothered to Google it, perhaps you should hold off on making sweet, unprotected love to the tune of the Spice Girls 2 Become One. Unless you want to get stuck cleaning up endless tiny baby poops alone. Your choice. He shouldn't take life too seriously. If his impression of a newborn deer learning to walk makes you snort Fanta out of your adorable little nostrils, then chances are he'll do the same for your children. And all I really want for my children is years and years of family soda snorting. However, he should also have his shit together, because no one wants to have a baby with a baby. I can hear all of you making Teen Mom references. I'm ignoring you on purpose. It also can't hurt for him to be talented in one way or another, like a junior Olympic swimmer, or a black belt, or like a kick-ass Scrabble player. Two parents who bring a variety of skills to the table have a much better chance of becoming the family from Spy Kids. He should want to be a good dad. The desire to be a good parent trumps all levels of an experience. I have the greatest dad in the entire universe, and that man still won't hold anybody else's baby for fear of accidentally dropping it into a rogue pit in the earth that leads straight to its molten core. When it's their own kids, dads figure it out. That's it for today. I'm Taylor Ortega. I often worry about being the Kimmy Gibbler of my childhood friends. And this is the Cosmo Ketchup!